Okay, hello, welcome everyone to the second control stream, which should be less scuffed, but not zero scuffed. Woo! Um, welcome Mushroom Alien and your what perfect timing. What was my perfect timing? I think mostly they may have like gotten the notification immediately. Um, I don't know what's happening, like, ever. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, that's literally false. You know what's happening all the time, always. That is true. It's because I have managerial skills. Yeah. I talked my way into being project manager for another thing. I was like... You don't have project manager skills. I have project manager skills. Put me in the group chat. And this worked. I didn't expect it to work, but it did. Is this the thing I'm thinking of? Yes. Amazing. I, I don't know if I'm and... supposed to, like, talk about it. So I'm gonna err on the side of not talking about it. But, like, I, I did do that. Extreme. It's so powerful of you. It's extremely... I'm so powerful. Uh, you just sat down to do art when I started streaming. That's so good. I am so delighted to be your background whatever. Alright. Now, if you got the last stream, you may remember that I said something about practicing the fight mechanics. Did you do that? No. I see. I you fully what, forgot least... until I was going live. <laughs> if it helps, so did I. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I none of the, so I'm the gonna... black parts of the screen aren't like going blocky anymore. Oh yeah, it, sh it should be fine. You're making another shield. Your shields are so fucking cool, Mushroomillion. I just I stare at them. Uh, they, I, they, they're so good. I really like them. Eyes emoji. Uh, I still need to, like, answer the ask you sent me about my emotions about the Vexel shield. Um, I, I will tell you, I have a tab open that is just that ask sitting there waiting for me to answer it, and I keep forgetting to do it. Because I want to give you a good answer, and I am not always very smart. Anyway. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm actually going to start with looking at the keybinds again, because I have forgotten all of them. Well, okay. Jump I wonder if getting a controller would make this easier. God. I don't know how hard that'll be to set up. I can try, though. Uh, not now, is but your, for the could, next time. Could your computer... Oh my god, Mushroom Alien is making Lux's shield. Yes, good. Cardboard foxes and pieces waiting for fabric? I'm experiencing emotions. Same. Can can we talk about how Anathema insisted on calling Firecracker our son? Wait, I forgot about this. What? Like the entire stream where they were stealing Firecracker from Jurassic Park, Anathema kept referring to Firecracker as our son while Lux was like, stop. <laughs> Friendly neighborhood arson. Okay. Aim, shoot, melee, switch weapon. That, okay, that means nothing to me at this point. Prior. Does that mean like the, the left mouse, or the left mouse, the left arrow? Yeah, that sounds like something I'd bind it to. Okay, whatever. Point being, uh, space shift V. Cool. I'm so smart and good at this. You oh, are, mushroom, ironically. <laughs> mushroom Alien, uh, did I tell you why the second fox is named Toto? Actually, I don't know if I told you this, Faye. You managed to get an IRL friend into Haven. Yes, spread the word. Haven's good. Haven is so good. Um, 
I think Discord is calling Control B rap because um, I, Moth is insane and playing Control through Linux. Yeah, that sounds like. God. Okay, you're crackly. We are just gonna deal with this. Okay, so the reason. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is literally not your fault. This is just a thing that happens. It happens to Coda when we play the Resident Evil streams. At some point, I will figure out how to fix it. Oh no! For now, we're just oh, gonna I... deal with it. For now, you're going to speak with the voice on the safe room intercom. Yes. So I was, I was gonna say, though, about the fox. Um... So, the word for fox in Polish is lis, L-I-S, and I got into the habit of putting a little fox emoji on top of my all- uh, on top of all my to-do lists t so that I'd have, like, a little friend there to emotionally support me. Um, so I named the second fox to-do because to-do lis, um, and then Mischief didn't get the joke and called him Toto, so now it's Toto. <laughs> Right. You know, The Wizard of Oz is actually a pretty good movie. It's so funny when I hit the options menu and the crackling immediately stops. That's not what I meant to do, though. I meant to turn the mouse sensitivity down. Incredible. Um, I can't believe that your video games are allergic to voices. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to try... Uh, quitting Firefox to see if that does literally anything. I mean, Firefox is pretty lightweight, but that's the only thing that's open that I can close right now. Alright, let's see. That's fair. I mean, sometimes in order... Look, if I try to play Destiny and watch anime at the same time, my computer gets justifiably angry at me. <laughs> God... If the quality goes like down more. What the hell is MSAA? This sucks. I should have troubleshot this before, but it was like fine until I actually started playing because I'm not smart. Um, low, 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 low. Everything goes on low. I'm not turning things off because I don't know what that's gonna do. Far object detail low. Uh, this is- this is fine. Say something. Faye? Yeah? Okay. Sorry, I got- I spaced out. What's fine? Um, I- I turned down a bunch of the- the quality stuff. It's fine. Uh, alright. Safe room intercom? Uh -oh. Yeah, safe room intercom. Oh, prior is page up. I'm so smart. Alright. Which way are we going? Oh my god, a little- a page of notes on mass surveillance covered in little soleils. That's the perfect character to put on that, actually. Aww. Alright, I have literally no idea where we're going. Stop. I think you go... that way? This Wait, way? I'm pointing- I'm literally pointing at my screen, that's not helpful. Um... Uh, so... Oh, you know what I can do? Room... Yeah? Uh... Give me a sec, because I'm trying to do this without showing my Discord on stream. Valid. Um... Stream settings. Stream quality. Uh... I turned the FPS down. I'm so good. I'm so powerful. That did not work. Please stop assuming you know what I want. You do not know what I want. Stop. God, 
fine. Stream quality down. Cool. That should help any. Mouse says mass surveillance is fine and always justified. Thanks, Mouse. Alright, this way? Um. Yeah. Oh, on. Back again? Huh. Uh, this will be useful later when you've unlocked more things. Like outfits, apparently. Yeah, turn left. Turn left. This way? He I think, yes, head that way. Or, hold on, turn left again? This way. Forward? Forward? Left? Or right, sorry. There. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello and welcome to me getting lost. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. She's having a very bad day. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. <laughs> oh, shit! You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Isn't it normal and fun how everyone knows who you are? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, and I think you are less crackly now. Director. Cool. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. Yeah, she's you protected by the brain ghost. And that makes you special <laughs> by definition. I love the brain ghost. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm sorry. I mean, talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. Look at this person having a normal time. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and... You probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> Not yet. But there's something Ooh, I need brother. to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. We don't have to resort to murder. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. You ever become the system I that did its best, but its best took your brother away? I'm speaking yeah. for you, of course. We can try it together. Seems normal. She's having such a good time. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. All right, where'd the guy go? He's over there. Hey, hey. Huh. Then do I need to break out the Latin poetry? 
<laughs> Maybe. So what happened? Uh, good fucking question. I can hear control. It, um, it crashed. And I'm putting it back. I see. Qui dono lepidum noum libellum. Arida modo pumeke expolitum. Corneli tibi. Namque tu solebas meas esse aliquid putare nugas. Yam tum cum ab... Uh, Ausus es unus italorum omne iwum tribus explicare cartis doctus Jupiter et laboriosus. Quare habe tibi quid quid hoc libelli, uh, quale cumque quod o patrona vir, uh, virgo, plus uno maneat perenne cyclo. Basically, I dedicate this little book of poetry to you, Cornelius, who's written more poetry than me and who's better at it. Love wins? Question mark. Unclear. His next poem is about how he wished he was his girlfriend's bird, but because she kisses the bird and he wants to be kissed. Mm -hmm. Just a second. All right. Can you can you see the stream? Okay. Cool. I couldn't remember if the game auto saved. Um. Yes, the game auto saved. All right. I had to go. Uh, fresh cans. It crashed, I put it back, I think we're good. has burrowed too deep, ripping it out and them apart. I hope that wasn't anyone important to Emily Pope. I don't think it was, but it really We need to cook, Jesse. <laughs> Where'd she go? I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing. Ordinary? The After town's name is Ordinary? I accidentally skipped the line of dialogue, I think. That's enough. But it's fucking, it's named Ordinary? Maybe what? That's too much already. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I can't now. tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an Altered World event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones. And before my time... Ordinary. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Don't be an anti-vaxxer, kid. It will get you full of hiss. But that's not me. <laughs> I'm not a director type. 
not a leader. I there Why I will probably here? be able to make more funny commentary I during like the know. fighting bits. It's just I find all of this yes, dialogue unironically cool, so I'm just are other watching and rapping. That's attention. so valid. Also I I was I'm not answers, hearing any crackling. I might never understand Woo! them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. Existential kit terror, welcome no to the chat. What they told me all those Hello, years, existential I terror. Know I always love to have you here. Now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Love to have proof that fucked up things happened. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. This is why I have a. I know someone who has taken uh, this to be basically a metaphor for being trans femme. Why is clarified later. I love a game that's a metaphor for being trans femme. If a big light telephone rings in an ominous box. That's a metaphor for uh, being trans femme. Yeah. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. She keeps checking her shoulder. Shoulder injury. I don't remember why. She clearly has a shoulder injury. Alright. True. Uh... I'm so lost. There's a sign over there. There's a sign? Oh, there is a sign. Dead letters. Love to see that. Yeah. There the it is this? again. Our welcome message. Okay, I don't know what I just did. Oh, that's like treasure boxes that gives you random shit. I don't know why they explode upwards. Existential Terror says, I like these two because they're girlfriends, real true canon, debated by scholars. <laughs> uh, Faye, do you have- do you have opinions on this? Do you have thoughts? I don't remember further along enough to say, but yeah, they're girlfriends, sure. Love wins! Uh, sorry, dude, whose body I just walked over. I'm sure that, see, this mailroom is being very normal. This is what a mailroom looks like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting enemies, even though I definitely should have expected enemies. Yeah. Mushroom Alien says any duo can be girlfriends if you're brave enough. So true. So true. Except for the duos who are boyfriends, but yes. Some no, duos if they're boyfriends, are boyfriends, they're also girlfriends. Once. Yeah. That's what the plot of Homestuck is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, existential terror, we know someone. We know someone who understands this. Um, okay. Right click aim, left click shoot, V to fuck people up in melee. Yeah. Alright, I can do this. Remember that thing we learned last time, which is if you try to do too much kiting outside of certain loading areas, yeah. enemies will instantly load. And it's rude, and I don't like it. Die. I mean, someone did die. Everyone is so mean to me all the time. <laughs> so 
That's so mean. All right, do I respawn back here? <laughs> Nostalgia department. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Normal things don't I actually happen. don't remember which one there it is again. I don't remember what that one does. Message. The entire hist litany is written out somewhere, and it's very good. Mm-hmm. I mean, a bunch of it is, like, in the, the one song. Nice. Alright, as soon as I enter here, enemies. Yep. of okay. Yeah. I'm finding objects. Ooh, achievement progress. Well, I have learned something. What? That I die if I do that. Th that's a good learn a thing to learn. Yeah, she's got force blasts. I love I the force blasts. She has a ghost in her head. Okay. The game is like you're bad at this. Try again. There it is again. Our welcome message. And hey, I mostly didn't even die that time. Yeah. Mostly. Alright, where's the second guy? There you are. Okay. I can't go that way. So I guess I jump. Oh, there's stairs probably. Gotcha. I see you there. So fucking hard in this game. not a color I'm used to health being. Anyway, I am improving. I am getting better. There's just a lot to keep track of. Alright. There it is again. A welcome message.
I don't think I'm gonna make it this round. <laughs> yeah. The true tragedy of this game is that it incentivizes, like, just rushing at people and killing them quickly because they drop health regenerating items. God. But that's really hard to follow through on because your obvious instinct is to not do that. Yeah. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. My goal is to get through this faster than I got through the fucking combat thing last time. <laughs> You'll get- you'll probably get through combat quicker than last time now that we've realized how the enemy loading works. Yeah. There it is again. Our welcome message. I don't like it. I like to do less fighting, more kiting. I love to two-shot a guy. Okay, was that both of them? Yes. Something I find really interesting about how you play is do you like repeatedly actively look away from the place where this stuff is happening, and I'm still trying to figure out why. Is it because the controls are, like, a bit oversensitive? Uh, maybe. It is probably because I am not good at this game. You're good at this game. I'll just spray you with a hose until you admit you're good at this game. I don't think I'm good at this game, actually. <sighs> Alright, that sounded like an end of combat noise. Yeah, now go run around and pick shit up. I love to run around and pick shit up. That's not the right button. Okay, I'm heading towards that yellow thing. You can also, the signs are actually fairly well laid out, but that's the cap, you're heading to the, towards the cafeteria right now. Which is not where you're, I don't think that's where you're heading. Maybe it's where you're heading. Oh, it is where you're heading, I'm stupid. Anytime Another I watch... way of telling where you should probably go is uh, where shit is red and glowing and fucked up. Okay, but I tried that last time and it didn't work. That's true. Mushroomillion says, anytime I watch anyone do video game combat, I can only look on and envy. So bad at any kind of combat in any video game. There are... There are tricks to it. There are definitely tricks to it. And you have to figure out what works for you. Like, I am really not good at ranged combat in every game other than Minecraft. Alright, well... Oh. I don't like when there's a boss boss guy suddenly. Oh, I would no. prefer if there was a boss guy less suddenly. I mean, to be fair, he was um, slightly foreshadowed by being in the subtitles. Not good enough. Yeah, this guy sucks. I'm 
getting like two frames a second when I... King, I lost to a random zombie in full enchanted netherite and, and lost an electronic cactus as a result. I don't think there's hope for me. Mushroom alien. Do you think you could dispense an electron to a zombie? Hmm. I hope so. I hope someone because like that they long. can they can wear chest plates, right? Like hypothetically. Yeah. So hmm. can I'm sorry. This has nothing to do with anything. Yes. <laughs> the very control crucial uh, thing of. So why can't I damage this guy? Um, he has a force field. Okay, so how do I deal with the force field? Um, I think you have to damage him before. I did not hear what you said, hang on. I don't remember. Also, okay, what did you say? Uh, deal with the, deal with the ads, i.e. The, the little dudes. Yeah, I, I know what an shit. ad is. Um, <laughs> Okay, fair. And then punch, punch, uh, punch the guy. Maybe. I'm sorry. You're. This is so early in the game that I started five years ago that I remember nothing. Oh my god. Terrible. Or not five years ago, like three years ago. Everyone fails me. Okay. Yes. Um. God, I mean, I guess I can try punching the guy, but he's got, like, this fucking scattershot attack, and I feel like... Okay, but like it saved after the last combat thingy so we're fine right we're fine probably i hope so i can redo that one if need be once i've like done one i'm like okay i get it wait how are you all the way back here i think because it doesn't love me enough there oh, it is again. True. Our welcome message. I totally thought it saved, but apparently not. Alright, where are you? Or maybe it did save. I think it saves the guy as being dead, but also kicks you back. That's so valid. Showing your steam. Yeah. 
I guess y'all can, like, judge the games that I have or whatever. Um, let's see. Let me, let me, let me, oh god, the, the, my internet is so bad I can barely see what your games are. Um, you have City Skylines, that's fair. You have Chaos Child. Isn't that like a... I have no clue what it RPG? is. I, I got it because, uh... Seebs and I were looking for games similar to the Zero Escape series and the AI Somnium Files series, and that was recommended. So we got those to play them together, and we haven't started them yet. What if... Can I be in on that? Um... Probably not, because we play in person. Uh, I guess I'll just have to teleport to your location. Please do. Okay. Do I have time over the summer to do that? I, I, think, I think something has gone wrong here. Yeah, given I that don't, given don't... that Discord and the game crashed at the same time. Yeah, I think you're I game... may be biting off more than I can chew and I should actually do research. Yeah. I mean I still wanna stream with you. you wanna do something else? Yeah, fucking what else what else what else are we doing? Let me let me put us back on my starting soon screen. <laughs> okay, uh, what are we doing? doing? I have I have other games. Cool. What are your games? Um, I mean, like you you we're friends on Steam, aren't we? Right. Yes. Let me check. I hope we're friends on Steam. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've been friends on Steam since like 2017. That's true. Where are you? Um. I've known Faye since, like, forever. God. Not to play it, but what is Wildermyth? Uh, Wildermyth is a game where... You have characters, and you tell, like, each, each little oh, what's campaign that game? is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have so many... I have so many Wildermyth characters. Um, but also... The graphics aren't quite loading right on this computer with the mods that I have. Uh, so I don't super want to stream it right now until I figure out what the heck is going on there. Understandable. Why do you have so many hours played in a game called Caesar 3? Because someone else was playing on my account. Ah... I have never actually touched Caesar 3. I don't know how it works. I don't know what it is. But the person that was sharing my account surely liked playing it. All right. I'm just looking through the games that you have. Wow. You 100% of the nonary games. I did. Yes. Hell yeah. I like to 100% games. It makes me feel like I have some sort of control over my life. Oh, part of me wants to do better. We've already done Paradise Killer. God, Paradise uh, Killer is so good, though. Everyone play Paradise Killer. Everyone play Paradise Killer. I'm just looking through your games. Yeah. Um, God, I don't know. I feel like I wrote down some stuff. Ooh, Jotun is cool. I am not good at Jotun. Neither am I. <laughs> we already did Undertale. Detention isn't doesn't really feel like the right vibe. Yeah, no, I'm not up to detention right now. Um, I'm still not sure, quite sure what Iron Lung is. Uh, and I already played it on stream. Yep. Um. I should play We Know the Devil. You should play We Know the Devil. I am like way down in your in your in your things right now. Yeah, you're just you're just vibing. Uh that game we can't play on stream. Which one? Oh yeah, that one. Uh we could play Risk if we wanted to break our friendship. <laughs> I feel like our friendship is stronger than two ply. It's fair. No, I love risk. What's else heartbreak? 
Uh, I'm not actually sure. A friend of mine got it for me like a zillion years ago and I started it and it was too bright for me. Like the, the colors were too bright. Um, and I meant it's to fair. like fuck with the settings so that I could actually play it and then I just never got around to it. We could play Nancy Drew the Haunted Carousel. You know what? Yeah, we could. Do I have that installed? I guess that is the question. I do have that installed. Incredible. Okay. Um, so assuming this launches, we are pivoting. <laughs> Stream change of plans. <laughs> stream change of plans. This is this has always actually been a Nancy Drew stream. This was just a very elaborate lead up to being a Nancy Drew stream. <laughs> Hang on, I'm Nancy Drew. The haunted. Sorry, carousel. the control is cursed. Does it launch? Where is the thing? Oh, it was doing the update thing. All right. Please launch. Oh, there it goes. All right. Hang on. Let me let me see if I can get Dear this to Ned, Well, not here I am screen. at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Oh god. About to try to figure oh no. <laughs> This is what, like a 20 year old Dear game? Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening. Time for here. the Dear actual Ned, stream well, subject now is Moth is Tortured by about to try um, to figure out old video games. Okay. I can't figure out how to make it not full screen, but it is running. Um, so I'm gonna see if this works. Alright, let me let me all fucking tab into OBS or whatever. Is anyone still here? Please. Um I'm gonna assume that someone's still here because otherwise I will cry. At least I'm still here. Oof. Interesting. Alright, let me share you the audio. It, it sucks that I have to do all of these hacky workarounds, but also, like, it's part of my brand now. That's fair. Alright. Uh, but also, consider streaming from Windows. I don't know what the fuck is even happening anymore. Okay, window capture. Will it take the thing? Oh my god, Mushroom Alien says, I used to play this game because it came pre-installed on the public library computers in my hometown. Uh, transform. So we're doing edutainment. Hit to screen. Okay, chat. Okay, why are you doing- hello? Well now it just- So I can like, hear music. Well now it just like has no visuals. Hmm. So usually we get this troubleshooting out of the way before the stream? <laughs> it's okay, I think 90 per I think half of the stream has been troubleshooting. Okay, uh, you get my entire screen because you're special. Yay! Oh my god. god. So I never actually played this one, but I played uh, Haunted Manor or whatever it was a Black lot. Blackboard Manor, I saw. I, yeah, Blackboard Manor. Selected that. I would have selected that one, except it seemed like you'd already played through a lot of it. Yeah, I already finished it. I didn't finish it as a kid, but um, Seebs and I... And one of our other IRL friends played it to completion a few years ago. All right. Okay, so my theory is that if I close and relaunch this, it will have the visuals. 
I'm going to preemptively change the category um, <laughs> because I'm not relaunching this twice. Either it works or it doesn't. It's fair. Um, so I'm going uh. to close and relaunch this. Oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Stop. Okay, I'm closing and relaunching this. Faye can see my whole screen. Yep. I need I chat confirm. to tell me if you can see the visuals. <laughs> Please. Okay, chat, is this working? I mean, I can see it. Okay, but you're not chat. I need chat to tell me if it's working. Or rather, chat, say something, and then Faye tell me what chat says, because this is fully full screen. I mean, so I am I am not chat, but I can see it in the stream. Oh, okay. Cool. Love wins! Wait, but Mushroomelian can't see it? What? Question mark? Is, is it is it not showing? Okay, now now they can. Okay, they must have just been behind a little. All right. Oh my god. Cool. Nancy Drew time. Welcome to my latest case, the haunted carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Do we just chuck ourselves? Off I don't the deep remember end of what the detective? difference is between junior and senior detective, but I feel like. I feel like this game is old enough that if we need to, we can beg the internet for help. Yes, let's do Senior Dear Detective. Ned, I well, think it's here I am at Captain's puzzles. Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things It was things so that devastating to learn that the Nancy First, Drew books were written by a bunch of ghostwriters and that Carolyn Then a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. I had a good, and like, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped 60 in books for no from reason. the Nancy Nobody Drew reboot. seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I still want those. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner is a friend of dad. I want those back. She's hitting me up at the captain's quarters hotel, which You're is very next valid. to the park. I'm, I'm so supposed valid. to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Mm, Nancy. Love a haunted carousel. Love a haunted carousel. Does the one in AI Somnium Files count as haunted? Yes. I cool. think that I think that if there is a dead body there, it is haunted just like by fiat. It's fair. If there is a particular kind of car there, it is also haunted by fiat. Okay. Let's let's look at the internet as imagined by two thousand and three. <laughs> flag game. Maritime flag match. Line up three flags in a row. Okay, okay. Boxcar Children is also red. Okay, what? Uh, I can't... I cannot parse these instructions. I don't understand how this works. Maybe they have to go in the order on the bottom? Oh, no, you have to, like, move them to, like, match up, I guess? Because, look, there's ones that are saying it the same. Can you, like make them like flip i am trying i can't tell if I... I mean can you see my like cursor just kind of there yeah i don't think this is working <laughs> don't understand i don't understand god I... <laughs> oh my god hello <laughs> <laughs> Just hit continue, hopefully. God. Okay. <laughs> I, we, we ran out of time. We're very good. Okay, we ran out of time, but how do I get out of this? How do I escape? Oh no, um... Fuck. There we go. Okay, well, we've uh, got a phone. Maybe hit dial? Alright. 
We're calling the Hardy call Brothers. The Hardy Boys. Hello? Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. Hey, Joe, pick up. Actually, he may not want to talk to you. Why not? Because you get to solve a mystery at an amusement park. He's so jealous he could spit. Hi, this is Joe. Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. I don't want to talk to you. What did I tell you? Oh, I'm just kidding. Pardon me for a second. I gotta go spit. Quit fooling around, Joe. She's calling long distance, remember? Sorry. So what's going on? <laughs> okay. I haven't been out to the park yet. I'm kind of planning my strategy. Any suggestions? Yeah. Do not eat a hot dog before you ride anything that spins around. Joe. <laughs> Um, so I think that this is supposed to be a slidey bar and it is just not quite working. Yeah. One of the first things I think I'll do is check out the roller coaster. That's what I do. See if you can take a look at the blueprints for the coaster first. You know, so you can tell if anything was monkeyed with when you check out the tracks. I guess this is almost like a tutorial server. Any suggestions as to my next move? I strongly suggest you call the person who's footing all your bills while you're there. Can't hurt. <laughs> I better get going. Let us know what happens. Okay. I don't understand... Does this tell me anything? Oh. Well, that's something. Now I'm gonna go to herinteractive.com. <laughs> right now? Yes. All right. Does hitting the escape key do anything? Wait. <laughs> I figured it out. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Things to do. Check in with P. Santos, numbers, and cell phone directory. Check out the carousel. Head over to the park and look for that security guard. Cool. Uh, inbox. No outgoing mail. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you for your subscription to Sassy Detective Online, the electronic tip service for the modern detective. Check your inbox often. Tips will be arriving almost as fast as you can read them. Excellent. The website is still up and it's shit. Um... You, you know what? I'm, I'm glad, honestly. Yeah. It's like, almost like corporate smooth, but like with a just like a overlay of bad okay yes i can get out i'm free i win i i live okay what have we got here a room service menu all right god the room service puzzle in the other game was such a pain okay Phony. Ah, uh, yes, the incredibly famous phony company. You have to ch you have to tell me if Chad is saying anything because I cannot see. Chad is not saying anything. They're okay. letting us down. That's fine. They're allowed. <laughs> Will the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. Normal okay. things can happen. Okay, I bet this is our security guard. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. If you think I'm Nancy Drew, you're right. That's a relief. It's too early in the day to go sicking the cops on anybody. I'm Harlan Bishop. Must be pretty boring around here with the park closed. Not really. In fact, I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed. Even agreed to a pay cut. That's normal. So you're not intimidated by all this cursed stuff? Somebody swept the rent horse around off here the really high. and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal, and frankly, neither do I. So, odd that he did it. Um... I'll give it a good 25%. It feels too obvious. That's fair. That's fair. 
So you think the carousel starts up by itself because some wires got damaged? Makes sense to me. Of course, I'm no expert, and Ingrid swears she can't find anything wrong with the carousel's electrical system. But then, I kind of think she doesn't want to. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky new age psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. That seems reasonable. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh my god, I can't actually click the one down there because my mouse won't go. <laughs> oh no, is there any way to get the, the scrolly thing to work? I mean, probably, but I'm going to have to, like, look up fixes, uh, and I'm not doing that while the stream is going. Where can I find her? First things I'll look first. up fixes. You won't be meeting her or Elliot Chen, the park's art director, until after you go see the park's bookkeeper, Joy Trent. Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills, so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Okay, I can't find anything about this, but that's because my Google skills are not as good as yours regarding these games. Wow, that's Come back uh, to me if card. you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store, department store, you know, as a security guard. In Flemington. Not around here. I think he's doing theft. Yeah. I don't think that yeah. he's... I don't think he's behind the haunting. I think that he's just, like... I, it feels like he's doing theft. Yeah, he's so... He's very normal. What a normal man. <laughs> Extremely normal man. Yeah. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here, all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. That sure is a carousel. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just oh, a I wonder if it's something tape. with the electrical we'll system over the whole park. Over. Uh, what did you say? I wonder if there's like, if if if, if the reveal is going to be there's some kind of like big electrical surge throughout the park that causes a bunch of things to go haywire, like the security tape and the carousel. And yeah, so I'd on. buy that. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. May I see that tape of the carousel haunting He's here? not a cop, I but the I, right the here, child detective up. who sounds like I'm 40, am. She's, she's not a child detective. She's like teen, early 20s detective, depending on... Fair. When you early her. 20s detective who sounds like I'm 40. Yeah. I'll see you around. Go get him. Hi, Nancy. You seen Joy yet? No, but I'm going to. You better. You're not going to be able to do much detective-ing without an access card. Detective-ing. I'll see you around. Sounds good. <laughs> I think that's technically how you're supposed to spell that, but also fuck it. It's not how you're supposed to say it, I think. No, no, it is not. Right. I don't think you're supposed to smoke in there. <laughs> I don't think it's... Okay, uh, Joy is over here. 
little guppy play pond. This is where Guppy I is. I don't. I am really unsettled by those two children. I don't like how photorealistic they are. Yeah, I think that might be a real photo of some children. I mean, it looks like it is. This is too early for unsettling AI art. Yeah, god, what year is this? Early 2000s? Let me look it up. Um, I I never actually played this one because I never finished Blackmore Manor. Uh, I got them in, like, the same box set, and I was always like, oh, well, I, when I finish Blackmore Manor, I will play Haunted Carousel, and then I never finished Blackmore Manor until, like, way later. Nice. Anyway, I guess the foxes are successfully reconstructed. Hello? Yes. Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. Love a fox. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. And it's from You're 2003. Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you. Yay, All when? the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster, even if you can't ride it. What did the police find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Typical cops. Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Santos. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hello. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. No hurry. If you're in the middle of something, please, go ahead and finish up. That's okay. I just assume get this little farce over. What do you mean? You're only you here huge because bitch. it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. And Are I you saying paid. she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Hey, can I have a media opinion real quick? A what? A media opinion. Yeah. Um, so, I, I love musicals. I have always loved musicals. I grew up in a very theater family. Um, some of the earliest things I remember going to see live theater. Um, and I saw a bunch of people talking about this one, like, new musical. And I was like, well, I'll check it out. Um, and it was Ride the Cyclone. And I was like, that is a cool sounding name. Let's check it out. And then it was, like, aggressively mediocre. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, and it, it's about, like, a bunch of people who die on a roller coaster when it malfunctions. Um, oh my god. And I, like, it's got some good bones there, but it doesn't really pull it off, and it does, especially doesn't pull it off to, uh, the degree it was hyped up to. Aww. Everyone was like, this is so good. It was not. It was not that good. Anyway, that's my media my... opinion. <laughs> Amazing. Do you have a media opinion? Fuck. Um, I mean, currently my main media opinion is the voice acting in this game is shockingly good considering what it is. I know, right? Like, it's a, and little, also the... it's a little stilted, but it's very, like, enunciated. Yeah, and also, like, the character animations are actually very solid. Mm hmm Have you ever confronted Ms. Santos with your suspicions? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth what is, an amazing Paula name. offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. I he see used Nancy to be co has my problem where people just spill Two their guts years at ago, her. He yeah. suffered a huge financial setback and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was I think broke. of the sextant thing Paula every time someone brings up sextant. She didn't. <laughs> me Frankly, too. I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Um, so I can't remember if I've told this story on stream before, but um 
When I was going to school in a city uh, with Faye, I mean, we, we went to the same school. Uh, I got approached by randos in the city twice in all of the years that I was in the city regularly. When I was alone. When I was with Faye, we got approached constantly. All the time. Like every day. Every day that we were hanging out together. Not every day. It felt like every day. It, it felt like every day. Anyway, this one time we were on the subway and this, this random guy approached us and said, Hey, do you want to see my sextant? Which is definitely something you want to hear from a stranger on a subway. And for some... Absolutely. Especially when God forsaken reason, we said, Sure. Uh, and he showed us his literal actual sextant, which was not a euphemism, which he had on the subway for the unknown reasons. I don't think that it is a wild story, though it doesn't beat the time I was with another friend of ours um, and got random impromptu stand up comedy on the red line at oh 12 my God. a.m. Yeah. Okay, the 12 a.m. makes it sound like more normal, honestly. That's fair. Like, that's just the sort of thing that happens at 12 a.m. That's fair, but it was also a lot. It was decent comedy, if I remember. Don't remember the guy's name, though. Mm-hmm. Um. God, no. Uh, the sextant thing. Uh, I don't get the problem where people spill their guts to me. I get the problem where people think I'm in charge. I'm. I'm not in charge. <laughs> You are in charge. I'm not. I'm really not. You are. You keep, you're like basically in charge of Haven. I'm not in charge of Haven. I am like providing infrastructure for Haven. By being in charge. I'm not in charge. Okay. Um, no, like I'm not trying to, to be in control or anything. It's just that in a lot of situations, I will just habitually pick up balls that people drop. And this tends to lead with me gaining responsibilities and then people thinking I'm in charge. Incredible. So I'm not in charge. I'm just handling a lot of the stuff that no one else was handling. Um, one time I was on this kind of shitty like public Minecraft server um, that had like a whole faction system and I got sort of shanghaied into this one faction because I built a little too close to their base and they were like are you with us or against us join us or else um, but like no. in a nicer way in a nicer way like in a way you that made it clear the that, <laughs> in a way that made it clear that they were like worried that I was gonna attack them not that they were like actually trying to pressure me um so did you take over <laughs> i <laughs> one day i logged on and the guy who was in charge of the faction had sent me a message that was like i'm leaving you're in charge of the faction now i've given you all of the permissions <laughs> <laughs> this is because this is because i'm the only one who actually like provided resources to the faction because I went, what do you guys need? And they went, well, we need a lot of wood. And I went, I've got you. I fucking love farming oak trees. <laughs> and so I just How like have farmed. I not heard about this before? <laughs> I think it was while we weren't talking. It's fair, but also, oh my god. Um. So I just like farmed oak trees for multiple hours a day while like uh, listening to podcasts or whatever, um, and providing them with. God, I think it was a double chest of oak logs a day. Uh, and I was the only one actually contributing. So I was the one who got the the being in charge. Oh no. Is this how you got into Minecraft? Not exactly. <laughs> God. Um. This was... Also my first yeah, like Alien foray is into from the 1980s. What's from the 1980s? 
It's from Elian. Also, the kids in my advanced math class got assumed to be the good kids, so they let us walk from the middle school to the high school unsupervised because they couldn't afford a bus. Anyway, that's how I got to watch the principal's son throw someone to the pavement. Huh. I'm trying to think if I have, like, a batshit school story that I'd feel comfortable sharing. Mood. Because there's some stuff that I'm like, mm, maybe I don't want to say that on stream. I, um, my old school did have, um, anti, uh, did have very strict rules against, um, possessing or generally having Magic the Gathering cards. Oh yeah, we had that at my elementary school with Belisera cards. Amazing. Uh, if you don't know what Belisera cards are, they're basically, like, just, like, baseball cards, but with, uh, fantasy horses on them. Uh, and I was fucking obsessed with them. I, I had a huge collection. I also want that back. I have, like, a list of things I want back, and, and that's, like, on the top of the list. Um. No. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know if you heard this this story, but uh, one of the people that we went to high school with uh, had a friend who did acid at one point. Uh, and so the guy we went to school with was like, "Well, what was it like?" And the friend was like, "Oh my god, yes!" <laughs> you know, it was like my head fell off, but it wasn't a bad head falling off. It was a comforting head falling off. <laughs> And I think about this every goddamn day. <laughs> Truly the experience of, of, I'm not clear what that experience is. It's the experience of acid, apparently. I guess. There were strict rules against anything D&D in my school, but nothing against knives because it was rural, so everyone had them. Incredible. Incredible. I'm, that, I would not have survived rural public school. Was that was that Mushroomellion? Yes, I would I would have um Mushroomellion, thank you for contributing. <laughs> it would have been I would have been just thoroughly annihilated at rural public school. I am a soft city kid. Mm -hmm. No, I went I, I am... went to so many schools. I went to three different schools my senior year. Oof. Um but I I went to one of them for like a week. So I, hmm. I feel like on most levels it doesn't count, but it's the school that I went to for like the entire previous year, so it sort of counts. Um, and then the the second one, uh, senior year was a problem kid school because the school district decided that they didn't want to deal with me anymore. Uh, so they tricked me into signing a thing that like was agreeing to go attend the problem kids school for three months or whatever um so i went there for three months and then it was my birthday and i fucking booked it reasonable reasonable and valid to book it fled across the state and i graduated from school in a different state or i fled across the country and i graduated from school in a different state this is normal this is normal I mean, you deserve to do this given circumstances. Yeah. No, I was not. This is the this time. is the negative. Uh, this is the downside to knowing the the moth lore because um, this meant I got to be helpless during this period. Yeah. Which is also the negative side effect to knowing all of the fey lore. I know, right? Um, God. No, we had we we had some times in high school. Um, we everything's had some good. time. <laughs> everything's good for me. Everything now, is though. good now. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> right. Um, I'm supposed to get an access card from you. We really like barely even touched the mystery. The areas of the park. Yes. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop, but try not to bug him. Why? Is he temperamental? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. <laughs> hey, I want you guys to know 
Um, so these games have a second chance system where it'll let you, like, automatically reload to before you made a fatal choice. One of the fatal choices in the other game, in the Blackmore Manor game, is you can get eaten by a carnivorous plant. Valid. Also, um, Mushroomillion said, I have not had any normal high school because I went straight from middle school to community college to an early college that is program. That so sounds valid. like a lot. That is so valid. Night Rocket. Normal. That is normal. Normal things to see. Okay, Harlem's over there, Joy's over there, Elliot and Ingrid. Do you wanna to talk to Elliot first or Ingrid? Hmm. Ingrid sounds cool. We should also check out the carousel. Okay, but I wanna meet people first. <laughs> That's fair. Looking for someone? Why is her voice sultry? <laughs> is, if you're, does, is, is Nancy hitting on her? Normal. Normal things. Normal things. Uh, normal things only. Uh, I'm Nancy uh, Drew. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out why so many weird things have been happening around here lately. Do you have time to talk? Sure. Oh my. You've got B3 issues. Okay, okay, everyone, wrong answers only. What is B3? Uh. Wait, also, Mushroom Alien, you're still in high school? Anyway, uh, B3 is, um, but, but, but. Okay, cool. Chat, chat, do you have any input? Um, my, my wrong answers only guess is that it is, uh, the bingo ball that we have in our pocket. <laughs> oh, wild. Uh, oh, wild is to, um, Mushroom Alien's age. Uh, I think they're on a bit of a delay, so I'm waiting for them to get the question of what right. B3 is. How, how old is Mushroom Alien? 17. Okay. I mean, I expected them to be, like, young, but I didn't expect them to be a minor. Wild. Yeah. Anyway, impressive to be one degree short of an associate slash transfer degree when you graduate high school. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Really cool. I, I, just, uh, I can't other even options imagine. For, other options for B3 are, um, uh, potato. Potato, okay. Potato. Potato? Yeah, You've got a potato problem. I've got a potato problem. Um, it's because yeah. Vanya isn't in this call. <laughs> if Vanya was here, we wouldn't have a potato problem. I do. Um, Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Well, I can't eat that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, this will definitely help my vibes. This will fix me. <laughs> me buying Island another Bishop anime figure. Some of your beliefs will fix me. were somewhat unconventional. It just seems obvious to me that what you eat, as well as the psycho-spiritual conditions under which you eat it, results in what you are, that's all. I mean... Uh, I guess? I mean, it's not exactly false. I mean, there is the thing about, like, traditional food that you are used to nutrients you more than traditional food you are not used to, even if they are hypothetically the same ingredients. Like, this is a thing they did studies. Interesting. What I find really cool is, like, so Ayurvedic medicine is kind of just not it's 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 not what like, medicine? It, it doesn't work ayurvedic medicine it's another traditional medicine that's like about like how warm your body is question mark it's why buddhists aren't supposed to eat onions because it makes you too hot and bothered and horny um sorry what yeah buddhists aren't supposed to eat any onions or any related uh f any related vegetables because do it will I... make you too hot and bothered and horny and will do onions you make from you horny nirvana according to ayurvedic medicine with fake but led to some really cool Indian cooking 
I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't like onions, so I don't eat onions. Do onions make people horny? No, this is fake. Okay, but like, what? what... <laughs> There's got to be a grain of truth somewhere that they're coming from, and I would like to know what it is. I know, same. I'm sorry. All I know about this is is this. And it's the like question of why is the opposite of Kellogg. Yeah. As to the question as to why she is buff, only you and God can answer that. What, the engineer? Yeah. She's buff because she's an engineer, obviously. That's fair. Have you worked at Captain's Cove for very long? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. I've held the supervisory position for the last ten months. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. Why would someone steal a carousel horse? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. Well, that's not Helpful. suspicious at all. Yep, you, you've done nothing for us. <gasps> Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Well, they say do what you love. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. <laughs> Normal, non-suspicious things. Okay, so he said he was a security guard before. Bouncer is... In Guy the same genre. Of... Yeah. Also, Mushroom Alien says this is the plot of The Thief Lord, I think. The Thief Lord. Is that Cornelia Funk? I don't remember. It's, 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 it's twigging something in my brain and the something it's twigging is Cornelia Funk. Yeah, same. Thanks for your help. No big deal. God. One time, Seabs was over at my house, like, looking at my bookshelf. Um... And pointed at a book and went, I, I think I went to school with that person. Uh, oh yes, we want to see, there's one more guy. According to Mushroomillion, it is in fact Cornelia Funk. Yes! Score one for my memory. For fucking Ooh. once. Let's go bother the reclusive artist. I'd love to bother a reclusive artist. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Why is his at why is his butt defined? Uh oh. Oh no. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? That is okay. so valid of him. Yeah? Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> so are we checking carousel? out the roller coaster or the carousel first? Hmm. Oh, yeah! It's about a magic carousel that has a stolen horse, so this guy hired a gang of homeless children to steal it back. You know, I don't think I ever actually read it, because I feel like I would remember that. Yeah, and now I feel like I didn't actually finish it, because I feel like I would remember that. I am, like... 15% sure that I have a copy, but I don't think I've read it. Uh, let's go to the carousel. I love a carousel. No high heels, spurs, or peg legs. This takes a fun pass. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride! Ha ha! I, okay. The carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. I love the Yeehaw! brass rings. Um, I went to Martha's Vineyard a couple times when I was younger. Uh, and they have the well, flying horses the there, ring. which is... Get ready. Myth. Did I just die? What? 
You're in the emergency room? Hello? I caught the carousel. Hello? I was trying to grab the brass ring and reach too far. You were what? It's kind of a long story. Uh-oh, I have to hang up now. They want to x-ray my head. I should probably come down there and have my head examined too. What was I thinking, asking you to play detective? Well, I know what I'm thinking now. You're off the case. <laughs> the carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeah! Okay, so the question is, did I fuck it up because I clicked wrong, or did I fuck it up because I tried it all? I'm clear. Oh Here my comes God. the brass ring. Get ready. Uh, trying for the brass ring is really fun. Um, and it's a shame that it? most of the carousels around don't have it anymore. Um, Here it comes so again. there are these dispensers. Are they gonna make me ride the carousel until I get the brass ring? Apparently. Oh no, it's stopping, thank goodness. Okay. Okay, so the way it works is they have these, like, ring dispensers. Uh, that have a whole bunch of, like, regular rings, and then every so often there's a brass ring. And if you... And, and you, like, reach out to grab them, there's, like, a whole technique that you do to get, like, multiples at once and shit. Like, th this was a whole thing. Um, and you're trying to get the brass ring because if you get the brass ring, then you get a free ride. Sorry, does that make sense? Yeah. Anyway, how 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 do you not know about this? Because it totally came up in uh, Holden Caulfield, and we went to the same school, so I know. I that you... I think I focused different on different parts of that book, and didn't understand what that meant at the time. Okay, well, L plus ratio. Fuck off! Everyone is so mean to me all the time. Cringe. I feel like they wanted me to grab the brass ring. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. you die. You like you like McFucking died. I did McFucking die. It's because I'm bad at this. This takes an employee access card. All right. Is this one the access card? Hmm. Oh no. Mushroom Alien is in Disney Ad Jail hmm. right now. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Also, the amount of Nancy Drew stories is infinite. It is more. There are more in Nancy Drew stories than there are books in the Bible. There are more in Nancy Drew stories than pe people who have loved you in your life. There are more Nancy Drew stories than stars in the sky. Who did Mushroom Alien say this? No, um, I was saying this in response to the question of how many Nancy Drew stories are there. Oh, no, you're so right. There are so many. Uh, and I called service to request upgrade for card reader. Below is a schematic for the circuit as it currently stands. The resistors are in parallel. Waiting for delivery of micro resistor, I split the circuit to allow easy soldering of macro resistor once it comes in. Krollheister called and said that the total resistance for the upgrade has to be 15 ohms. Um, points at your Rift character. No? Nothing? Faye, did you Sorry, die? Can you repeat that? Oh, no, I, I, didn't I die. said- I, got, I spaced out. I read uh, 15 ohms and I was like, points at your Rift character. Oh my god, you're right. Um, for- for- for viewers, uh, Faye's Rift character is named Ohm. Yep. Uh, they said that the macro resistor will give 5 ohms of resistance, so whoever's hooking up the thing should hook the resistors in series. Cool, okay. Oh god, we're doing a fucking puzzle. Apparently! You could- amazing. So we need to do 15 ohms, is that it? Apparently. This takes an employee access card. See, I thought this was an employee access card, but apparently it's not. Huh. I'm not very smart. Uh, no, this else? game is, conf game is oh, confusing. Oh, no, that's our hotel card, I think. Ah. I could be wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very smart. Um, 
Do we want to check the Midway games? Sure. Oh, that's a little jaunty music piece. Okay. And then after got... this, I might ask. It might, I might. Yeah, we're we're call we're, it early on the been, stream. We've been going for for a bit. We've got yeah. Swimmer's Itch. We've got Barnacle Blast. We've got Prizomatic. We've got Squid Toss. Let's do Swimmer's Itch. You're about to play Swimmer's Itch. You have three fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. Move the swimmer from right to left by clicking on the swimmer or on the obstacles in the swimmer's way. Okay. I, okay. I bet we're gonna okay. need a seahorse token. They won't let us too easy. <laughs> oh, I see. Where where is our swimmer? Oh, there. There. Uh oh, it's one of these. I guess, yeah. Am I not? Oh, maybe you have to move the toxic one down and then the dra sea dragon to the left. Oh, toxic. No, the other toxic one. I am, like, unclear on what is happening. Okay, so... So take that one, move it all the way down, that one all the way down, sea dragon, move all the way to the left, boat all the way up. I don't... I can't you tell... You move the boat? It's not letting me move the boat. Confusing. Um, move the shark all the way to the right. Oh no. Toxic one's down. Uh, monster all the way to the left. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand Let's how this over. game works. Let's start over. Uh, what, you want us to use more of our fun pass? Yeah. Alright, let's not? do this. I think we can just Let's infinitely get more from the beach. guy. You have two fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. All right, let's try this again. Uh, and then and then we'll call it for the night, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so shark all the way to the right, maybe? Shark all the way to the right. Toxics to the down? Toxics to the down. Yes. Um, both sea monsters to the left. Sea monsters to the left. And will that let you move the boat, the oil boat up or down? Uh. I saw a down image. There we go. There we go. Then the swimmer. There we go. Whew. Yeah! Hi, Mouse! Uh, control McFuckin' died! Oh god, there's died. more! So we're doing this now. Oh, good lord. Um, okay. Uh, 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 first things first, oil boat down. Oil boat down. Um, uh, uh shit. Um, I don't, uh, I don't think we're gonna win this. Uh, uh, second, second to bottom shark. Uh, se wait, sorry. So look at the top. Yeah. Uh, the shark that's uh, second from the top. Move that uh, right. Toxic up. Um, wait, hold on. Actually, um, toxic down. Uh, yeah, we're not. We're not winning this. Know. <laughs> no, we're not winning this. Let's, do let's just end for the day. <laughs> oh, also, Mouse technically raided us. Thank you for the raid, Mouse. Yay! Alright. I guess we save now? Yes.
Okay. Two-person raid is still a raid. Thank you. Yeah, two-person raid is still a raid. Fine, I'll save my game again. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> No, don't! You'll get tra you're trapping yourself in an infinite loop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. Um, let me see if there is anyone for me to raid. Thank you most for the raid. You're very sweet. Two-person raid. Alright, no, I don't see anyone around that I know. Cool, okay. We're what if just... he was like, oh man, what if, what if I was like, oh man, what if, what if I then streamed after no, go to bed. this stream, but no, I'm tired. Go to bed. I'm not gonna go to bed, I'm gonna eat. Oh, go, well, go eat. Alright, goodbye everyone. Goodbye. I'm playing the stream Bye. out of its misery. Goodbye. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>